Well, did you get a new pet in the past year? You are not alone. Many people have recently turned to animals for comfort. And in this week's Open for Business, Tori takes us to a shop in Roxborough that saw a sea of new pet lovers in the wake of the pandemic. <laughs> Tori joins us from home to tell us more about Worldwide Aquarium and Pet Shop. Hi. Jessica, hi. Uh, yes, I mean, last year we all needed that cuddle buddy, right? We just needed that something that brought us a little joy amidst a, a lot of, of darkness. And pets often do that. And if you are in the market for a pet, they may not have cats and dogs, but they do have a world filled with animals in Roxborough. It's Worldwide Aquarium and Pet Shop. Take a look. Yeah. It's called a blue tongue skink. Yes, yeah. crazy coloration. Red Nigerian Euromastics. And they're like little beardies, but the crazy difference is that they're like fully vegetarian. In Roxborough, there's a place packed with scales, tails, treats, and terrariums that's been a home sweet home for animal lovers and a hub for everything you'd need for your pet for 20 plus years. This is the Worldwide Aquarium and Pet Shop. Now, the outside can be a little deceiving with its cream-colored exterior, but once inside, you'll be greeted by plenty of color and light. Yeah, he's pretty friendly. You hear him, you know, he okay. makes some noise. Is he saying hi, or? <laughs> they, as, as snakes age, um, they just get a little louder when they breathe. It's owned by Jeffrey Rudner, who never in his life thought he'd own a pet shop. I always liked animals, but I never thought I'd be this involved with them. <laughs> I was running a restaurant, and we, we could not agree on a deal to buy it. And the person who was helping me make the deal said, come and look at the pet shop. So I came and looked at it. I said, why not? Here I am. But it's great. I love it. I became a total animal person. And Jeffrey said when COVID struck, many people became animal people too. So many, in fact, fish tanks ran dry. And it was such a run that there was the whole country that ran out of fish tanks for four or five months. We couldn't even get fish tanks. We're still getting calls like crazy for turtles every day. What makes a turtle the perfect pet? It's easy. Yeah. And everybody likes a turtle. Who right. doesn't like a turtle, right? <laughs> see those guys? Yeah. They're the guys you see at the zoo. The They're, massive ones? The massive ones. That, no that, way. Yeah, that's the sulcatas. Fortunately, business hasn't slowed, which allows all of the animal lovers who work here to continue to do what they love. I'm 23 now. I started working here when I was 16. Wow. Yeah, so I just love it. This has always been a, like a lifelong passion. Like, you know, my dad growing up, he'd always had me out in the woods finding mistakes, toads. It was just kind of like the job that kind of fell into me. And I help people, you know, people come to me with issues they're having and I get to help them problem solve. You'd be surprised how little knowledge is out there on most of the pets. We're here for them. You know, in any way we can help. We answer questions all day long. What's the best advice that you can give people who care for their pet? Do your research. I mean, the biggest thing is just making sure that you you know, you know what you're getting into. If, uh, if you're not ready to ha handle something that's 10 feet in six years, then maybe look for something a little smaller. <laughs> It's such a fantastic place. And Jess, two things. One, I want to wish a very happy birthday to CBS3 editor Mike Henry, who edits all of our Open for Business series pieces. He is an animal, animal when it comes to editing. So happy <laughs> birthday to Mike. And in honor of Louise's first birthday, which was on Friday, mommy surprised her with a little fishy from the pet shop and aquarium. Everyone meet Cupcake. This is our newest addition, and Louisa loves to wave at her every day. And I will say the pet shop was so wonderful that not only with their fish, but with anything, they print out a care sheet so you can keep your pet alive and thriving. So highly <laughs> recommend a visit to Worldwide Aquarium and Pet Shop. They're just a bunch of passionate people there. And the, as I said before, the store is filled with life and color. And when you have that passion in a business, that's why people have been going there for so long. And plus, you walk out with little dudes like Cupcake. Perfect snuggle right? buddy. Perfect. Right? Tori, thank you. I'm sure Lou Thanks. will be studying that sheet diligently. She wit. She already is, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dar. <laughs>